Hi everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at these. Uh, I've owned them for about six months, I paid five quid for them from the tackle shop. It's one of the only things that's in still in its package, make sure. I really do like them. Uh, I originally purchased them so I could make small baits for my wife um, if she needed them because, you know, nice neat baits for a flapper. Um, and I found I was using them myself more. Um, only because I can make nice slimline cocktails on them, really nice neat ones. Uh, I was using um, like strips of squid cut thin, like you know about the thickness as a pencil. Cut all of them. Um, my lugworm. They were great for wrapping crab. You know, you just shove it through. Uh, they worked out good for doing the crab. And I was just getting some really nice little baits for me for the uh, scratching rig. Um, I've used them on ragworm, I've used them on prawns, mussels, all the soft baits and these really did well, they did the job really really well um, so yeah I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10 because I really really like using these uh, to the point that I am going to buy another set of these so I've got a spare set in the bag because I'm a swine for losing things uh, and I've liked these so much that I've actually kept them in the packet which is shocking, not like me um, so uh, I'm, I'm, I am really bad when it comes to stuff like that. So yeah, I can give them a 10 out of 10. I will get some bait together and prep some baits and freeze them. And what I'll do is I will make some little baits up, show you what I'll do with them, all different kinds of freeze them. Um, and that way you can see what I mean by what you're getting from it. Um, normally, just like a normal baiting needle, you'd have your hook tipping here. You can see that's a little hole there, you have your hook tip in there, pull your line down, put your feed your baits on whatever, and wrap. And then you end up with a nice hook prominently outside the bait. And I like that about them too. Um I've used them for lugworm, believe it or not. I've put lugworm instead of putting lugworm up my line, I've basically put on here, I put lugworm on here, I couple them down, and I basically folded them back on themselves and then just wrapped them and ended up with a nice big fat lump of lug. Uh, and I had some sort of, I, I think I had squid streaming off that, and I ended up with a nice fat hustle on, on doing that with these. <coughs> um, so I'm, yeah, I'm really impressed with them. And I can give them a 10 out of 10, like I show, I've got other bait needles I use, but other equipment for other things. I've got this one, I use this big long thing for doing a full mackerel, straight up it's you know. Um, <coughs> and basically I use that so I can put strips of squid uh, along it. So basically that one I'll, I'll use for nice big fat, I have a fillet of mackerel, half a mackerel, whatever, full mackerel. And then I'll basically cut, a, open a squid up and flap it out lengthways. And then wrap that up the side and that's a nice big fat bait for the conger, or the huss. <coughs> but as for my Wessex rigs, anything with a 2-0, 3-0 hook on, even 4-0. Um, and five, you'll do five overs with these as well, whatever. You'll, you'll make a nice bait anyway for a single hook. Um, I have also done it where I have made two baits on this and basically hook up, slid it down the line towards the panel hook and then made another one, slid that up, locked it all into place. So um, it, it did the job. I know for a fact I could take this out with me. If I wasn't doing, you know, I'm not going to lie, if I wasn't doing massive baits where I'm putting like a full mackerel on. I could take them out, just have them, and they would be, they'd be fine. They'd be fine, perfectly fine. Um, you know, I mean, everyone has a, a normal bait needle in with a hole in for the for if they're doing a long lug worm. But you could just do short ones. You could do you could do it, and you know, I mean, I've had I've pulled lug out the sand. You know, I've been about that big, so that's perfect. And it gets the hook on the outside, and you get a prominent. You get like a prominent um, hook sticking out. So yeah, and the elastic comes off easy when I do it that way, I must admit, I can run a knife down the back of the shank of the um, hook, just rips it off, no problem, so there's that perk to it as well. So there they are, it's the Inova bait needles, you get two in a pack, these are a medium, I'm going to have to look and see if they do a large, because if they do do a large, I'd love to see how that how it, you know, how it fared up for a nice big fat lugworm bait, so it would be interesting to see if Inova have these in the large... Uh, sizes if we could go up a size that would be great but there they are perfect for doing your little baits perfect for doing your little flatty baits 
give him a try. I love him. I, I, and I know for a fact, <coughs> if I was to lose them, I'd be gutted and I'd be out looking for another set straight away. Um, I have I have these and my mate got me these. I've got the bigger one and the smaller one. I think I've got the medium one as well. I've got the whole set. Um, I've got bait mate. I've got loads of different baiting tools. I am I'm a, a bit of a tackle, you know, about the, that word. But um, but yeah, as I wish you say, I do like the Inova brand. I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. 10, 10. <laughs> Tongue tied. A 10 out of 10. Uh, just because I've caught fish in them and they, and they do what I want. And they prepare the bait how I want, and I can get creative with soft baits like soft mussels and prawns and things. So it, it just it just made it for me. A lot of the times when I was using the bait mate, and I was trying to wrap prawn, the last it was cutting through the prawn, so it wasn't because I, I over. It's that probably me because I'm tightening it too tight, but I didn't get that problem with these. <coughs> um, another thing I'm going to ask you then, do this is, I'm going to try these pink beads at some point. But what colour do you guys reckon we should use? Should it be like a, a pink and a bright yellow, bright orange, blue, black, white, you know. I'm going to make a rig up solely using um, pink beads and another colour. So if you've got a suggestion, whether it be a bright colour, or what, what I might do is I might do a mix actually. I might do a mix. I'll try and get some more of these pink beads and I'll do a mix um, of, of a couple of colours, what you suggest, what you think would work. I, I I was thinking about a nice bright yellow, like a light, you know, but then I thought about black. So yeah, I thought, well, I'll put it to you guys. Think of a colour that we can uh, put on this. Um, <clears throat> and I might pick either one or two of your colours. And I'll make rigs up with them. I'll make some flapper rigs or flatty, I'll make or a flatty trace or whatever. Um, and then at some point when we're out, we'll attach that rig and we'll test that rig and see which colours work to the best. Um, and I might just start doing little things like I might just bang some rigs up or some, I might you know, get a packet of these or something and um, we'll do something strange like you know whichever colour mix works I don't know we'll send you a packet of needles I suppose uh, we'll sort something out we'll to make it a bit fun aren't we um, so yeah <coughs> tight lines for now and as you always say, I hope my next fish is a personal best. Ciao, ciao for now, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.